Hello everyone, not your average gaming Joe, and today we're back at it with NHL 1, I mean NHL 21, be a pro, goalie, uh, I have some breaking news to announce. So last time when we were playing, we were trying to play NHL be a pro with our goalie who happened to be on the Los Angeles Kings to start our year four, kind of an encore season. Well, unfortunately, uh, it did not go well. In fact, EA had kind of a encoding problem. Our goalie, who happened to be in his year four, was also in 88 overall at the time. And in EA, with a little bug, um, the system had kind of recognized us as a year one goalie bumping us from being what we were originally a starter all the way back down to a backup goalie I tried to fix it tried to do whatever it took whether if it was to win games to go shut out and win games in the preseason it just didn't matter so that series has now come to an end but I have something special for you guys we have a new series and it's a dream team not any ordinary dream team it's kind of a dynasty a team that I have grabbed players to build upon so we're gonna take a look at this team right now so we have Steven Stankos along with Alexander Ovechkin with Patrick Kane our second line is gonna be McDavid, Nyquist um, I can't pronounce them I'll just call them uh, Cap um, in our third line, we got McKinnon, Kucherov, Verana. In our fourth line, James Neal, Taves, and Tatar. Our defensive line, Duncan Keith, Latang, Michael Delzato, Drew Doughty, Brett Burns, and Eric Carlson. And the only difference is the goalies. Um, I have traded Jonathan Gibson and Ryan Miller away to abstain two lower goalies. And we're going to see if we can be... The goaltender from day one, our goal is to, uh, wrong one, our goal is to go for the record books in the rookie season. So, take a look at rookie, go for the rookie season. For all time, we need is five shutouts, and we need to get 22 wins surpa to surpass that. So, that should not be that difficult to obtain. I do not know what the NHL rookie-wise would be. Um, yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to get that 45 wins in our rookie season. Um, so I don't know about that. Shutout wise, may be able to. We got to go for 16. But yeah, that's going to be our goal in this series is to break records, win multiple Stanley Cups with this team, whether if we're a starter or a backup. So right now we're jumping into preseason. With now, our quack the attack. The that we've got is that the kid was supposed to be heading down to the rink sometime today to kind of check out the new surroundings. This has got to be like the first day of school, Razor. Guaranteed he would have gone early to go and take a look at the locker room. You walk in there for the first time, you can't believe your lifelong dreams are about to happen. And when you're looking around, I'm assuming, you know, is he thinking the nameplate might be up there? Oh, you're hoping, but, you know, yeah. he's going to learn that those trainers don't miss very often. The jersey's ready. Your name has never looked so good as when it's on top of your stall. But what I remember, James, is the excitement, the nervousness, how scared you were. And then you're like, I'm in an NHL room. I can't believe this. It is the very best of feelings that you can have till you step on the ice the first time. So just like that, we're jumping into our first preseason game, trying to go for the win. We'll figure out how that's going to work. And in fact, we're going to rock out iconic jerseys. That is what we're going to be doing. We're rocking out the iconic jerseys. We're home. So we're going to wear the iconic white. Um, Phoenix is going to wear their home jersey. That's fine. First preseason game. Let's get after it. Oh, and I have also did was when modifying this roster, I've traded teams to respectfully to each team. So, for example, trading a player Hi, to another Anna. team to acquire that OC, player. Along with Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski for EA Sports. 
First exhibition game of the preseason schedule, ready to get going. What do you say if you're a veteran player to a young guy trying to crack a spot? Just go play. You're here for a reason. Don't be something that you're not. And then I'm thinking of my own head. <laughs> We're going up against one of the former backups for the Anaheim Ducks. So this is a little goofy. <laughs> Both Forgot about that. Ice, All right, Dream Team Dynasty, the Quack Attack Nation. Let's get it's after it. It's going to be a little line. sluggish. I tried to modify Arizona. the settings. Arizona Over time, we're going to adjust it per game. I have made the Along Phoenix the Coyotes a little bit more defensive. Well, not Phoenix. I have made the AI the more way. defensive this time through to make it kind of a little bit more fair opportunity. The Coyotes have it from their own end. So I have no Game clue what's this going to be like. Driving right to the front. Let's the wrister fly. He was left in there. Get out of here. Save made by the goalie. Quick ah. reflexes. You make one, you make two stops. Oh, man. Before the puck is cleared away. May have oh, made the AI a little bit play. too good. Here's a chance. Comes up with the stop. Grabbed along the boards by Stamkos. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Arizona's got the puck along the wall. The Coyotes will play it in their own end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Good break up, good break up. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Ooh, that's a good opportunity. Our boy Patrick Kane. Yeah! Our boy Patrick Kane with the goal. Looked like the goalie was expecting a deke. He got back a little deep. Beautiful deke. Good the puck set up. The you cannot leave Patrick Kane all alone. I'm happy for once. This is going to be a good season because we got Patrick Kane on our team. I don't know who's going to be on our team long enough. I didn't modify contracts. I didn't have that much time. So I got to get this all set up. Relatively early so this may be a season or two. Who knows? I would hope. I hope we can keep him. Puck scooped up by Del Sato. By number 88, so just like that, we're up by one goal. Here they come up along the wing. Get that puck out of here. We've had, we had also made our team a little bit slow and sluggish. The Ducks have the puck now. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play Got continues. an all-star team. The it's Coyotes it's going to be fun playing this. End. Here's a short pass to Chikrin. If this goes well, possibility may the make a Legends center. League a right here. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. Feeds it over to McDavid. And now he moves it quickly to Tatar. Ooh. That pass goes a little sideways. Got a good opportunity right now. Tatar is trying to get something now going. Pass to Burns. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, the puck doesn't get there. So crowded in front of the goaltender. Nice pass. They go on the attack from the left side. Great poke check on the reach. Sends it ahead to Taves. Anaheim's got him along the wall. Here's the Come shot. on, Bobby. And there's the save. Arizona's looking to break out. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. To the low slot. Oh, he beat us. Dang. We need to get a little bit better with the glove side. That is unfortunate. Now this game is even. Just here in the late stages of this frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. That's unfortunate. Here inside the neutral zone. Kind of knew that was going to happen. They had the opportunity. Big save by the goaltender once again. Stop one, stop two. The goalie a little wide. Okay, okay. We'll take that. Picked up along the wall by Taze. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. Here's a shot, and he gets in front of it to block it. And he denied that opportunity. Moves it quickly over to Dvorak. Across the line. Along the half wall with the puck. Knocked away. And just like that, we're going to the second period the tied one apiece. One as both teams get on the board. And as 
Both teams head to the I thought I made Alexander Ovechkin with his number 10 jersey. That's a little unusual. Huh. Right now, it's not a bad game. Four shots with Coyotes, seven for Anaheim. Not bad, not bad. I'll take it. Still been a low scoring game. It's been a very defensive right, game, actually. Back at center ice, Stephen Stankos at the faceoff. And Anaheim wins it. Start out second period here. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. The Coyotes have been grinding away, trying to find a way into the offensive zone and generate some shots. What? They don't have I, I just get in the bar fly position and my shot. guy just goes across the crease. I didn't even move across him. The line and on the attack. Here's a chance. Too much congestion in front. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Burns. Takes the feed. And now it's grabbed by Schmaltz. Arizona's got it along the wall. Arizona trying to get an opportunity here. Take Skates the lead. The Good breakup. The Ducks look to start the transition game. And now he moves it to Ovechkin. Back oh! I see that coming. The game is level you can't point. leave Obi all game. by himself. Now you can play from in front. The Ducks go ahead by one. They had to work for that one. A lot of work put in just to get yourself inching into the lead. There's still got the lead by. back. The Coyotes win possession here in the open ice. And in this series, we are not going to be doing the four goal rule here. So we're not doing the four goal rule. We're actually going to play a whole entire game. Takes it to the net. The Coyotes gain control of it. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Schmaltz looks around. Good breakup opportunity. Anaheim's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick feed to McDavid. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> oh, boy. Boy, it didn't take much time at all. I so actually have made nice the AI more aggressive on defense. Easy. I have. Once you escape the pack, it's now one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. He's trying to read you. You're trying uh, to read him. I made the AI a little bit more aggressive in this game with the, the, uh, the poke checks. I have made more our shots, team more goals, and slower and Taking shots a little bit slower as well. So kind of a little and unusual here. I didn't really change any of the AI stats, to be honest. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck. So now we have a two goal lead. Through Four center. goals have been scored the in this game. Anaheim is just aggressive with the defense here. I'm not sure it's if I need to change the setting for the be a pro zone. and make the coach kind of like, eh. Who knows? Arizona's got control of the puck. Through the neutral I might have now, to. Picking up steam. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. Slides it over to Ovechkin. Here they are on the attack. Puck picked up by Stamkos. Club save, and he handles it with ease. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Quick pass to Broussard. Feeds the puck across to Stamkos. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Oh, almost had the opportunity. What a snipe. Oh, you missed it. <laughs> wow. Back to the point it goes. Takes it to the front. Here's a chance. How do you miss that, Ray? I don't know, but we all do. You're right. Ovechkin had two opportunities. One wide open opportunity that he just happened to miss. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Our boy James Neal going for the rebound, but couldn't get it. The Ducks continue to lead here in the late stages of this second period. Taves wins it in the offensive zone. Just can't complete that pass. No, he's got the right play in mind. He just doesn't execute the final pass. 
And just like that, two periods have gone by. It is three to one Anaheim. It's looking good so far this season. Don't forget to check out our top ten moments in hockey history. You can find it on our website, voted on by you, our fans. In fact, we didn't even see a single shot on us at all in this period so I might have to change the, the defense a bit just around the corner, right now, but we'll change it after moment. this game yeah we got five more shots on net and they didn't even get a single one on us our defense was really good but our save percentage is not looking good from that at all are set. we need are more set. shots on us so I may have to tweak that a bit. The final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? The Coyotes continue to be close in this game, which is maybe a little bit of a miracle. They don't have very much in the way of shots on goal. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Here's the pass. Oh, that's way too wide open. And just like that, our boy Stankos with the goal. They really read this odd man rush. Run. Good setup. They didn't over move the puck. They didn't Wide open net. Couldn't have ass anymore. It was that. delivered into the net. What a beauty. The Ducks could almost put this one in neutral here for the rest of this third period. They've dominated much of this game, and the score is clearly reflective of that. Anaheim's won it. Puck grab by Burns. Scored by number Kane's got it along the wing. A chance. Oh, is that a goal opportunity? Oh, he missed it. Had the opportunity, just was not there. Defense is breaking that up. I might have to tweak up our defense and make them a little bit weaker. Here's a chance right in front. Kane connect. Puck scooped up by Kane. Ovechkin with a good shot, another save. No room for the shooter, the goaltender snuffed it out. Arizona's moving it into the offensive end. Anaheim's got the puck inside. The yeah, we're gonna have zone. to actually two weeks this up. Defense needs to be a Here's little a bit weaker. To Ovechkin, and he breaks up the opportunity in front with a poke check. Let's it fly with the stop. Anaheim's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. And now it's grabbed by Del Sato. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie. Another goal. save. Make him Might also weaken the, the offensive side a bit just by a hair. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. Taken along the wall by McDavid. Musa quickly over to Tatar. The Just Ducks past the halfway the point of the third. Right Another goal, right wide right open. James, how many timeouts can you have? Because they need one now. They needed one before. And the way this is going, they're going to need one in a few minutes. Or they could use the ghost of Roger Nielsen away. The quack way attack down. debut in the preseason is looking good He's so far. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. The Ducks have not stopped the firepower display tonight. You impressed down there? It's like oh, there's going to be plenty of firepower game. all They're season long with this team. To keep up at any level tonight. Or maybe for a while. He's played along the wing. And that's picked off. Assisted by number 90. Along the wing up the neutral zone. My centering pass. Wide open opportunity. Stopped by the goaltender. Sends the pass down low. Good backhander. Oh! McDavid getting hungry for a goal. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Stopped by the goaltender. Arizona's got the puck in the defensive end. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. We have not seen a single shot on us in a whole entire period. Got a block out of that. He's got the puck along the boards. With the stop. Ooh, right through us. I didn't think that was going to be a save at all. Moves to Kessel. No one home on that play. Finally got one shot. But we need more. Moves it around along the half wall. And he slides it quickly to Tatar. Sar had a wide open opportunity. And missed it. 
Bobby Ryan looking. Oh, just like that. We got a goal. Too easy. It's already a blowout season so far. Preseason blowout. This is going to be a high scoring league, maybe setting the record in all record categories this season. And now he angles it across to Broussard. Oh, I wish I didn't do that. That's unfortunate. Save percentage just tanked after that one. The Ducks wanted to focus on putting more pucks on net going into tonight's game. They have done just that and then some here in the third. Wow, my goalie was so delayed on that reaction. Yeah, I don't think we'll be a starter, but we do. Uh, who knows? Backhand it. But we are going to be working on... Um, we are going to edit stats after this. Try, not edit stats, I mean uh, slider. See if we can change it up a bit. Quick pass to Chikrin. Who's the puck? Gaining momentum in the offensive end. The Ducks take over on possession. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Let's it go. Denies him. He got all of it. And just like that, we get a win. Not a pretty debut at all, but you know what? A win is a win. And that brings an end to this one here this evening. This one never really in doubt tonight. Now, once they got in front, they were able to pad the lead and then cruise on in. This was a dominating performance. Not a dominating performance for our goalie, but it actually was a dominating Alley performance by right our team. Now where you kind of get recognized. Yeah, I think this is a good thing. The the players go out, salute the fans. Everybody feels good part of it. Good pass opportunity well, to books, Bobby Ryan. Tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night. And we kind of slid too far away. In fact, if we just stayed where we were at, probably had a better opportunity. So, let's see. Yeah, we, we didn't see a whole lot of shots. So we got to adjust this a bit. Got some tweaking to do. But yeah, first preseason game is in the books. Before we even start our second preseason game, we got to make some modifications in our I get slider. Had a tough night in goal. I get it. You know, looked a little overwhelmed, maybe a little stage fright playing in his first NHL preseason game. But let's not yeah, that's gonna hurt. get off after one night, right? Let's let the process play out. Just not going to be a starter. A I know that. Longer than what? One game? All right. Let's give him a chance. Yes, it didn't go smoothly for him. No, he didn't have a shutout. Wasn't perfect. But I like this kid. I've been a fan on him for a while. Just give him some time. Let it play out. It's a preseason game. Yeah, it's a preseason game. So let's just dial it back a little bit, okay? Time for May take us a bit getting a shutout. Who knows? Uh, modify his settings before we advance to the game. Gameplay sliders, we're going to tweak the AI up a bit, make us kind of go down a bit. Puck control is kind of the same. AI. Uh, we're going to lower our aggression by five. Seeing if that changes quite a bit. Alright. We're going to bump that up. 
We're gonna bump this down. Both of these down, we're gonna bump. Determines if the AI will change strategy for the user base of minimum means no occur, maximum means aggressive changes. So we're gonna see how that works. Kind of testing and rinse and repeat. If we like the results, we'll like them. If not, then we move on. But preseason game number two, Anaheim versus Calgary Flames. Let's get after it, boys and girls. Playing another home game. Trying to get better here. We gotta get wins. We gotta get saves. Gotta get to where we need to be. Hi everyone, along with Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabolski, and welcome to Anaheim here in Southern California. Moments away from puck drop of this exhibition contest, and numbers are still rather robust with both rosters here, Ray. Yeah, I, I think this might be the last game we see both teams at this high a number content in camp. They'll want to get down to five lines and eight defensemen so you can really do some work on your systems and finally pick the team. Both these teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. Game two of the preseason. The Ducks start and Anaheim the starts it out getting away. the face off here. Gains the zone on the left wing. Quick feed to Whoa. Kane. He scores! Quick setup, and we got a 1-0 lead. We have the game's first goal. Manny laid a beauty of a pass across there. Enough air to clear the sticks, and it lands perfectly on the shooter's stick. The Ducks have put an extra charge into this building here as they score the first goal of the game. I think this anthem singer's their lucky guy. They, he finished, they scored. What a great start. Tries it to the crease. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even see that puck. It bounced so fast. Here they come through the neutral zone. Right in front with the shot. Misses the net. Not going to be happy with this. He's got the opportunity to score. Doesn't register a shot on goal. Kane's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier. Puts it on net. He scores and serves up a drink in it. I don't know why goalies don't make sure that bottle. And just like that, it's 2 nothing. That would really make me sour to see the bottle go up in the air. Oh, the defensive team is dog tired. Their tongues are hanging out of their mouth here. They just got outworked onto the puck, and eventually they give up the goal. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Anaheim's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. From the neutral zone now. The Ducks carry it along the wall. Here's a chance right in the slot. Gives them nothing in front. The Ducks have the shot advantage, and they also have the lead on the scoreboard. Stamkos is quick on the draw, and that goes off a player in front. The Flames will play from the defensive zone. Ooh, kind of good check right there. Patrick King keeping it alive here. He scores! That's two! Earlier in the game, he was able to score. I thought he's kept his energy up, and now he's worked hard enough to get himself into position for another one. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. The Ducks came hungry to play this one, and they is now a three-nothing game. I have even adjusted Ryan's it to go in AI favor, and we have yet gotten the opportunity to see the over. opportunity oh, just like that. An opportunity there. Looking to be too perfect. Get it on the net. You've got a better chance to oh. one through the goaltender. That's a good opportunity right there. The I didn't Tosses think we we're gonna get that. Here's a chance. 
slides it across. Effective use of the paddle on that one. Passes over to Goudreau. Calgary's moving it along the wing. The Flames are on the attack. And now he tries to get it across to Kachuk. Stopped by the goal. Oh, come on. Matthew Kachuk. Calgary's finally I could not do anything. I tried to cover that up. Just could not cover it up. Boys, you got one. You got to get going. Somebody hit the snooze button. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Scored by number 19. The Ducks gain control of it. And scores! <laughs> what was that? Ovechkin with the snipe. This is already a wacky first. Oh, it's not Ovechkin. It's uh, Makar. Well, it zips on by him here, but there's no chance for him. There's so many people in front of him. He's trying to find the shooter, locate the puck, and then make a move. There's just not enough time. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Anaheim's been showing relentless pressure lately. Now up by three. McDavid's won the draw. Score by number 10. Takes a shot. Oh, he completely blew it on that miss. Yeah, you got to get it on the net, James. You've got an opportunity to score, and you don't even test the goalie. The Flames are in transition. Stays with it. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Takes the pass. Puck picked up by Ryan. Picked up along the boards by Svechnikov. Calgary's got the puck. And now it's grabbed by Giordano. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Anaheim's got control of it now from their own end. Slides the puck across to Verona. Puts it to the front of the net. Snaps it on net. Came up with the uh, If he went backhand, that probably would have been a goal. Sends the pass over. Probably Come if he had a backhand the right there, zone. that could have been a goal. Manages to hang on. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. The Ducks have outshot, outscored, and all around dominated here in this first. Anaheim's won the draw. Nearing the final 60 seconds. And we get it out of the zone. We have one minute remaining in the first period, which has been a lights out. No way the official signaling a goal. That's a goal. My goodness. It's not going to end. Got a hat trick. We're not even done with the first period. This has been a shooting a clinic speed, right here. Which is an incredibly skilled play. The goalie can't track it, can't keep his body in front of the puck. Next time he finds it, it's in the net. Anaheim's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Here's the third of the game. Carrick's got it against the boards. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And we're now going to the second period with a 5-1 Anaheim game. I don't even want to know how many more goals are going to be in the next period. Honestly, we're going to skip the highlights. We're just going to take a quick look. Ooh, eight shots with five goals out of it. And three shots and one goal. That's not looking good for us. We got to do better than that. We got to get more saves. Second period set to go. A one-sided affair after the first 20 minutes. Here we go for period number two. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? The Ducks continue to dominate the puck possession stat. And while that's great offensively and they've got a nice lead, you never really have to defend. Oh, them. that's a good save. I seen it coming, didn't know which direction it was going to go. And he slides it quickly to Stamkos. Gaining momentum along the wing. They've got numbers. Oh, that's open. Way wide open. I think we got to adjust the AI. Well, defense is almost maxed out, so got to lower probably our offense again even lower. 
This is really terrific awareness here. He puts the shoulder fake on. Great hands. Pulls Let's see if we can lower the defense stats after this game. Over for his teammate to finish. Takes the feed. Big time stop. Ryan's comfortable back in the net. He's got a big lead and he hasn't had many shots to deal with. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, I have not. Kane's it's been a shooting clinic for days. And that one's broken up. Pushes it across to Goudreau. Down the right side and into the zone. Quick pass to Ryan. Rister, big save. Starting to see a little bit more shots. Slides the puck over. Here's a short pass to Kane. But this game is so lopsided, it's not even funny. Oh, that's another goal. <laughs> I called it. That's how you do it. Leadership to a T. The captain capitalizes. Anaheim's just going to keep going. Not going to look at the highlights. It's it's already ugly. It's 7-1. They have scored almost at will tonight. McDavid's won the draw here in the open ice. Scored by number 91. With possession along the wall. Fails to find the open man. Oh, my goodness. The outside of the post and stays out. The Ducks have a big, comfortable lead here. They're way up and in no danger. Have they pulled the goaltender yet? I don't think they have. No, he's still in there. But his uh, his save percentage is not looking pretty. was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Moves it quickly over to Svechnikov. From the slot, wrist shot. Oh! He missed it. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I'm going to probably have to lower the offense settings for this team. It's a little too, uh, too good. I haven't really changed him. I have it more favorite for AI, but uh, we're seeing it now being a little bit too effective. Anaheim's brought it tonight. They absolutely have dominated here, especially with the goal scoring. A bit faster. They played with more skill, and they are filling the net. What a fun night to play in. He almost lost it for a second there, but scores. See now, that should have been a save. That should have been a save. Goes right through the five hole, bounces off the leg, and goes in. Bad luck for the goalie, great luck for the shooter here. This is stopped about 90%. Hey, you gotta stop 100% of it, because now it's in the cage. Anaheim's won the draw in the I wonder when zone. they're gonna pull the goalie. They still haven't pulled him. I feel bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he's gotta be feeling like he's got holes in him. Yeah, I, I'm going to be doing the math to find out what his save percentage is after this period. Oh, I know, as it cannot look good at all. Five saves out of nine. My goodness, he's almost at 50%. Calgary's got it in their own zone. Sends it across the ice. Nice pass. Looking to set up offensively. Here's a shot. Comes up with the stop. Puck grabbed by Svechnikov. Great defensive effort with the stick. Nice zone entry from the left. Sends it across. And that's broken up. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm happy I made that save. Usually that's a goal. Let's it fly. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Up along the wing. Centering pass. So close. That's a rare occasion. Patrick Kane usually makes that goal. Takes the feed at the point. Takes it into the slot. They score. Is there a mercy rule in hockey? Is there? A few bounces like this, or you don't get a few bounces like this. The puck's off the post in the net. The Ducks have to be feeling good about themselves here in the late stages. I have no idea what the save percentage is for that goalie. But it just keeps getting ugly. Anaheim's on the attack. Chris one turns it away. 
All right, time to pull out that calculator and find out what that save percentage is for Calgary because it ain't going to be pretty at all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There's the horn ending period number two. I'm not sure they not going to do highlights. In. There's no need for it. Oh, boy. Seven divided by ten. Well, actually, seven divided by 17, actually. This goalie has a 41 save percentage. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. That that is sad. That is incredibly sad. All right, here we go. A big third period. Going to have to make the shots Andrew. even more or less powerful. Bringing you all the action. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Puts it towards the net, and that shot gets caught in traffic. Anaheim's got it against the boards. Kane's wide That's open. This is See, now insane. that probably should have been a save it's by the goaltender. It ends up in the net next. What a game. The Ducks have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Kane and Stankos. This, this line is dangerous the way this is looking. If this is going to be like this all season, this is going to be a shooting clinic. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kachuk. Uh, probably going to have to lower the defense on this team, including with the shooting ability. Snaps it on net. Oh, you can't miss that. Now, somehow I got 408, James. You don't get any if you don't hit the net. Get it on target, man. Snapper from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a good dangerous save, chance. Good save, good save. Ryan's picking up steam. Here's an odd man rush. Puts it on net. And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Uh, we used to laugh about this and say, oh, the goalie's got to answer the phone because his ears are going to be ringing. But I'm sure the trainer's going to check on him here as this hits him right in the face. Oh, see that? That is kind of rare. That kind of like curve right in. Makes it a double on the play. Anaheim's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been nonstop. I like how they I feel bad for the, the other the team. One, had their foot down this is starting to look like the Mighty Ducks game changer. If anyone hasn't seen that, go watch it. It, it, it's kind of cringy like that in the beginning. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh! Trying to make the perfect shot, doesn't execute it. Look out, he scores! Deuces wild Yeah. It's, it's a little too ugly. You get a second one, it's such a rush. Thinking had he yet? Oh, he should be. I mean, he's got two in the bag already. I'll tell you one guy that would be thinking had he might be. Here's a shot, and he misses. That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a great A chance. Quick feed to Svechnikov. Shot just wide. Moves right to the middle. Quick shot. Denies him in close. Oh, we got a penalty. Penalty on the way. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. But we know that's not going to last long. That's going to be a power play goal. With fire. It's going to be. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. Right in the slot. Here's a shot. Busted up on the play. Now you get in the right spot. Sometimes the thing just hits you. And it's a quick pass to Stamkos. That's going to be a goal any moment. Misses over the net. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Their effort on this forecheck is really extending this ship. Made that stop. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. The Ducks have shown no signs of slowing down here in this third period. Up big. Stamkos has won the draw. Brown is able to take that quick pass. He's already got a couple of goals. He's looking for a third. Keeps hold of the puck. Drives to the crease. Makes the stop with the blocker. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Anaheim 
Anaheim's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. The Ducks win it. Taken by Verona. Stopped by the goaltender. That's kind of hoping this game save. ends soon because this is just Handles too much salt on the wound. Go. Makes the save. This is brutal. And now he moves it quickly to Neal. Moves the puck. Oh, oh my goodness. Pretty good shot. Nice delivery of the shot. So the painful to watch him. right now. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Snaps one on net. How did he stop that one? Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. That's a goal. And that's the hat trick. Listen to this place. And here come the hats. I love this tradition. Uh, there, there's plenty of hat tricks in this game already. He used to give them to us, and you're like, what am I going to do? I'm not wearing somebody else's hat. Puck picked up by Hannafin. Now a quick pass to Kachuk. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And this game's going to be over soon. It Well, it's been over since the first period. It's beyond over. Calgary's in now. Should not have gotten this ugly. I got uh, some tweaking to do. No! No! You know it's your night. You're feeling it. And now he's got two. McDavid's won the draw here in the neutral zone. By number 19, Matthew Kachuk. Great heads up play by the defender. Here's Stop it, McDavid. Just it. let them get the puck. Calgary's got it across the line. Long reach breaks up the momentum. One minute left. They go on the attack from the left side. Sends it over. Open. Scores. There's an end only continue to extend yeah we're not gonna uh you want know just finish it we're almost done we got one minute left I'm not gonna be that guy going all the way through thought about it but now nah, we're gonna we're gonna finish this game takes the feet after his goalie chooses not to cover up through center along the wing here they are on the attack slides it across and now it's grabbed by Ryan. Blocked in front. And he regains control of the puck. Centering pass. Wicked glove save to get a piece of that one. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. The Flames take it across the line. Kachuk's got it deep in the offensive end. Quick pass to Carrick. Yeah, we're going to have to lower the poke over. check on our defense a bit. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Cuts to the front. Scores! Two goals. Just stop scoring! <laughs> Just stop! He's dead! He's dead already! <laughs> uh, this is one of those Simpsons uh, beans waiting to happen. This smells so much blood, it's not even funny. Save percentage wise, okay, not bad. Slight improvement, but could be a lot better. But yeah, that that is just too ugly of a game right now. Got some stats that we look at some of the sliders that we got to modify here. Our save percentage did go up a bit. How about right here? And I'll tell you what. The goaltender of the future just might be the goaltender of now. How good has he been so far in preseason? I love yeah, what the coach I is going to say negative combat. I know that. Not so like what do we got here? He does not seem overwhelmed by the shot selection that he's had to face. Uh, I'll tell you boy. what, right now, I've got him on this roster. In my mind, I don't feel comfortable of getting a shot out. So I'll let's go for the win. We've got our conversation with the former. It's just how I feel. I don't feel comfortable trying to say for it. Let's go for a shutout. We're going to go for a win. Just keep winning is our game plan. Yeah, it kind of looks like we're going to be a backup goalie, but you know what? It is what it is. Gameplay sliders. We're going to adjust that defense a bit. Puck control, that's not it. Um... 
Well, we're gonna make this kind of up here 50-50 just for fun. Lower the aggression a bit, lowering the hit, lowering the size for us. We're just lowering the defense right now. Put it at 75. Let's put it at 45. We're gonna drop this down to 25. Penalties are going to stay the same. Uh, we're going to lower this by a hair. See if that changes up a bit. So we're going to see if that changes anything. Hope it's not a little too drastic, but hey, you know what? we're going to keep trying. So game number three of the preseason. Uh, are we playing against San Jose? We are not. So that's kind of unfortunate. Want to get recovery up as much as we can. So we're not starting this game. So that's kind of interesting. But we're playing against the Los Angeles Kings. We're actually away. Playing our kind of home color jerseys. And we're going to let them rock out their home jerseys. No, we're not playing those atrocious jerseys. Yeah, we're going old school. We're going to rock it out old school, and that's what we're doing. So, our fourth preseason game, but our third preseason game for our goalie is coming up. We're going to see if we can get better stats, kind of get better opportunities in this game. Hi everybody, welcome to Hollywood, Los Angeles, California, along with a rock star, Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Ray Ferraro's between the two benches. You joked earlier about seeing some of these wonky numbers. Some of them are starting to disappear now. Yeah, you're getting down into a, a tight grouping of players. The ones you're looking at now are either going to be on the team or going to be among the very first call-ups. Now they're fighting for position. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things All underway. right. At center ice. Oh, I've been waiting for this all day. And we are now oh, I wasn't realizing underway. it. Shoot, I forgot to change their jerseys and white. Oh, no. There's the whistle and the official set to give the call. So off the oh, head, no. A little play that you're trying to get to the puck. You get your it's going to be a long two spot, minutes here. Stick and there's nothing you can do. They'll want to clear the zone no, 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 no. while they're trying to kill off this penalty. There's the oh, zone. no. The this ain't looking good. A lot of people nip Not over good this at I all. I like this delay a game. I do, too. I mean, some of it's bad luck. The puck can... Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Kempe's going off for slashing. Even though the standard huh? is tighter for slashing penalties, I think that would have been a penalty 10 years ago, too. What? Exactly. Happened. And okay. It's kind of a back Bishop and forth right now with the penalty here. opportunity. Well, four on three. Drop from a five to a four on three. But that doesn't mean you become cautious. I have follows gaining momentum. 46 seconds. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. And they'll get it out of the defense. Yeah, I kind of screwed up. Now I don't know who is what. Los Angeles has possession of it now. Passes it over Was to Kopitar. not thinking this one through. Here they come up along the wing. Drives to the sweet spot. Made the stop on the play. Don't, okay. I was going to say, don't let it go in. out of play. Out of his own end. Here's hey, we got the opportunity. Now. Ooh. Scooped up along the wall by Del Sano. Takes the pass. Can't get it to go. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end. See, now. at this rate, I don't know Into who's on my team. Zone. From the slot, reshot, and puts it just wide. The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. And the goalie comes out to play the puck. 
Grabs it in his own end. And he slides it quickly to Kopitar. Across the line from center. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Kind of a close back and forth game Coming here so far. It did change it up zone. quite a bit. Excellent so we're going to see how this works. The Ducks have it against the wall. The Kings have it now. We're only 20 seconds left in the penalty Inside kill. The, offensive zone. the Ducks have possession. No! The official signaling for a penalty as No! Oh, this the is painful. Penalty here for putting the puck over the glass. That's gonna be one of the yeah. toughest penalties to take, right? Certainly one of the most embarrassing. I mean, James, he just shot. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get a rid, get rid of the delay of game penalty. It has kind of been painful. Los Angeles has it near the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. The Kings fail to capitalize on the power play. Both sides back to even strength. Don't be dumb with the puck. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Kings gain possession along the wall. Here they come. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Sends it in deep. Comes out to play the puck. The Kings take it from their own end as they make a line change. Got a minute, a little over a minute left. I, I really hope we're smart. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just get it out. Almost at the one minute mark. Uh oh. Uh One minute. Just kill the penalty. Don't want any more delay of game here. Looking to break out here on the power Don't line. need any more delay of game. Los Angeles plays it along the wall. Makes a move in front. Here's a shot. And that banks off a stick. Anaheim's penalty killers get a hold of it. And they move the puck out of harm's 40 way. seconds. I swear sometimes the penalty kills are a little too long Here's in this game. Here's an offensive game. chance. Moves it quickly over to Del Sato. Comes up with the stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender oh. keeping the task. That's a good save. Almost 15 Return seconds. What? Well, just keep the play the alive. Just keep trying to get an opportunity oh, here. Coming up, as you can see, that he was slowed down on the play, and play finally comes to an end. Here's the officials. Kopitar's gonna get two. This is actually Looking starting to look play. good. I think this is almost balanced to, to the point where I think this is good enough You're here. Step behind. You've got to slow that guy down. You can't catch him. Maybe you can get away with a hook. Not here. Just tried to play catch up and got burned. Anderson's got it in the defensive end. The Ducks will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. Moves it over to Kane. Across the line. Here's the pass. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Comes Good opportunity. The as he got a piece of the blocker on it. Press one in close. Oh! Our boy Alexander Ovechkin with the goal. By moving the puck quickly. That's a beautiful goal. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. It's he kind of like a uh, Wayne Gretzky slap shot almost. Anaheim's got the game's first goal here, Razor. Well, you got the one goal lead now, but you want to extend it as quickly as you can. This neutral zone face off set. LA gets the face off we here. Away. We're down by one goal. On it was been a pretty long period. I don't know who has the puck. It's kind of hard to tell. Was not thinking with these jerseys. Takes a shot and he comes up with it. Oh, almost put it in on his own goal. They go on the attack through center. Moves the puck along the half wall. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. Slides the puck across to Ovechkin. From in close. Oh, could have had a rebound there. From the slot. Big stop by the keeper. 
The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. LA's moving it into the offensive end. Goes right to the crease. Oh, I almost thought that was our guy for a moment. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Taken by Carrick. Too much traffic in the lane. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Sends one up to Carrick. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. Carrick's moving it ahead. Moves it around along the half wall. And that one's turned away. The Kings get a hold of the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Great poke check on the reach. Anaheim's moving it up the ice. Along the half wall with the puck. Pretty much has been a little bit of a balanced game here. I think the slide, um, our gameplay sliders are set up as best as we're going to get it to in my comfortable playing so far. Sends the pass over. Dumps it into the Ozone. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Moves it to Latang. Anaheim's on the attack. Good opportunity. Oh! Nathan McKinnon! Haven't seen him score yet. And he finally does it. Man, he laid a beauty of a pass across there. Nathan Enough McKinnon there is the a beast. Perfectly on the shooter stick. The Honestly, if the Colorado period, Avalanche wins the Stanley really Cup, the he's one of the main factors leading to it. Move to the middle. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. And he totally whiffs on that one. And just like that, we're done with period well, number one. Got two goals. Line, it is a 2 0. LA, not LA, and a high lead. After the first 20, and based on their body language, I don't think they subscribe to the theory that the two goal lead is the most dangerous in hockey. Still, lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports. If you don't know your license plate, it's a blue sedan. Nine to two. Our defense is still a little OP. But then again, this is preseason game number four, so the lineup the isn't really there. So I don't really know how it's going to perform yet. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's here comes two, LA. LA gets Leon the face off underway. here. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Los Angeles didn't help themselves in that first period. They were kind of a turnover machine. But while the score is close, they can help themselves by making more short passes. Don't try the home run play so much. Anaheim's in transition. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. To his oh! They are on See, the that should have been saved by the goaltender. Two score goal, make a change, get another one. Nothing seems to slow them down. The goalie's trying to read the shooter's stick. He doesn't read it right. He leaves the legs open, and the puck beats him five-hole. Anaheim is a three-nothing Anaheim game. Here in the second, the first period was good. They built upon it here in the second. They haven't given them anything in their own zone, and they've really had the puck a lot. By number seventy-one, Evgeny Malkin. Time of the goal: two minutes forty-five seconds. Takes the feed. The Kings looking against the half wall. Shot. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Quick feed to Malkin. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Good Keeps opportunity. Stick save from the goaltender. Sharp reaction save. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Anaheim's got control of it now from their own end. The Kings get a hold of it. Moves inside. Oh, come on. Get themselves an opportunity somehow, but down three is not it. They're down by a couple now, and they can dial press to see if they can make it a, a 
straight closer. The comeback is on. Score. Score by number Slides the puck over. Receives the pass. Here's a chance. In close. Oh, tried to pick his corner and puts it off the outside of the post. The Ducks quickly started to look at the tablets on the bench to see if that puck hit the post and went in or crossed the line. It didn't, and the lead will remain the same. Takes the feet at the back end. Here's a shot. Gets his stick on it. Puck picked up by Nyquist, and they score. That should not happen, but it is, it is a goal. He doesn't waste any time getting this puck off his stick. The snapshot beats the goaltender from the high slot. Anaheim's been lighting the lamp all night long thus far, and it continues here in Four the to one Anaheim lead. Domination. Goals almost at every turn. Hey, buddy, you need to put your controller down. This is not fair. Quick pass to McKinnon. The Ducks will play it from the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to McKinnon. To the front. Oh, and a Miss opportunity, opportunity right by, you don't get many I believe it's Nyquist. Off, so he'll be a little frustrated as he heads back up ice. Here's a shot and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. The Ducks will play it in their own end. And they send it right back to him. From point blank range, misses. Get it on the cage. Make the goalie do something with it. LA's got it along the wall. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Nice pass. Just wide. I had a delay on trying to make a save here. That was a little too late for us, and I'm glad that was a little off target. Just with a little bit under a minute. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh boy. They don't slow down. You get one, you get two. Looks like our third or fourth line is out. Oh, it just trickles over the goal line. The goaltender. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It hits off the just post, goes off the back, and it goes and right in. Probably not wanting this period to end, do they? No, they're having a great time, and this is going to go into the intermission, and they'll have a relaxing. 18 minutes to think about things. Another goal. And with just seconds to spare, they get a goal here to close things out. Yeah, probably going to need to tweak that up a bit. Real kick in the pants for the team that gave up the goal. But what a boost of energy for them to score this late in the period. Scored by number 37, Andre Svechnikov. Oh, <laughs> that should have not happened, but hey, that is a goal. A goal. I mean, you're happy when you score any time, but so late in the period, now you can carry momentum over the intermission. And we're now going into the third period, finally. Up by six. Uh, we gave up one goal. Oh, man, that's not looking good. Our save percentage is not there. So I get a gotta lower our defense even more on the slider. And offense just by a hair. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? The ducks are gonna be able to stretch all alone! Between his legs! Oh, try to go for a trick play right there. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, my goodness. You're at home or on the road, but you do this on the road, you feel a great accomplishment. And there's the one hat that he gets for scoring on the road. Anaheim's lamp yeah. light. Alexander Ovechkin with this team will probably end up breaking Wayne Gretzky's career record at this rate. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. Kane's got the puck along the wing. That's a goal. Malkin misses the opportunity for an easy, wide open goal. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. That's blocked. Los Angeles looks to break out in their own end. Takes the feed from the wing. 
And he takes a shot, denied by the goaltender. Ryan's had a really easy night here, James. I don't know how it could be much easier than this. Takes easy the goal. Gives oh, he missed it. Front. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. The Kings take it across the blue line. Great defensive effort with the stick. Dished on over to Malkin. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Here he is, wristed on net. Score! That should have been a save. Look Goalie got up a little too fast, I think. After that went off, someone in front. We're almost Ducks at the halfway point. Cruise control here in the third. It's been well, pretty cringy so far. Got some tweaking to do, but that's okay. We'll get it all set up over time, and it'll be more of an actual even game to watch. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. As of right now, it's kind of watching the Harlem Globetrotters playing against teams right now. And he rings the post. The Ducks continue to be in a comfortable lead here, although this one hits the pipe. You know, the shooter would have loved this to go in. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Here's a oh, that's a breakaway right. opportunity. Scores! He had to be ready for this. Just so much, so much opportunities, and goal. you can't let that happen. The, net. the Ducks offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. Scored by number 30, Nathan McKinnon. Move to the middle. From the slot, fires away, and that's blocked away. Gains the zone through the middle. Drives to the paint. Big save. Not anything special. But hey, you know what? We got a save. Oh, my goodness. It really is. I mean, the play thought is for sure right Kempe was going to get it. To be had oh, that's this ain't you. fair. This is not fair. Oh, man, he's <laughs> this is not fair he's for the other team. The Set it out in front. Here's a chance. This is Go dumb, but it's too much. This is a this is stupid dumb, but fun stupid dumb. <laughs> the Ducks are going to want to bring this big lead home late in the third. Mulkins won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Puck goes off the glove. Los Angeles has it in the defensive end. Anaheim's got a hold of it along the wall. And they score. See, I almost thought that was LA until Patrick Kane gets it. Like, what's he doing going that way? And I'm like, oh, oopsies. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forechecked. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Moves it quickly over to Malkin. Puck grabbed by Doughty. Los Angeles with possession in their own zone. The Kings are on the attack. This incredibly well up contest finally reaches its final minute. This offense is just unstoppable. Pass across it. Or not. Well, he's been on it tonight. Really good skating legs. He's finished off a couple of Can we just finish the game, boys and girls? Stop trying to go for goals. It's preseason. Preseason. Sends it over to Couldn't find the intended target. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Ovechkin. The Ducks move Obi, to the Obi, stop it. He's Don't do it. Down. Don't do it. it. <laughs> and now it's by oh, Kane. boy. Can we just drain 30 seconds again. of back? Let my goaltender get the puck. Puck scooped up by Malkin. 23 seconds now. Taken by Ayafalo. 18 seconds left. Well, they're going to get a goal. I know it. We're going to end up getting another goal when it should not be a thing. Couldn't connect on that pass. Eight seconds. That goes wide. Hey, we got the challenge, we got the win, didn't really see much puck action, we got to change that up a bit, lower the defense and some sliders, but hey, a win is a win. Yeah, 
didn't uh, we didn't have a good save percentage. We gave up like one goal, I think. Conversation with the coach. He's gonna say, "Hey, yada yada, you complete your challenge. That's it." Didn't get the shot out. Uh, it's gonna be quite a bit getting the shot out, I think. I don't think we're gonna be able to achieve rookie goal records. Go back to game settings. Gonna change it up. Try to get this a little bit more balance. Shooting. Lower it. Uh, personally, I think the shooting is fine for the AI. So we're gonna lower the shooting a bit. Passing is fine. Puck control is fine. I haven't really tweaked with those. Aggression is gonna be a little bit lower. to that delay of game penalty. Let's get that out of there. And in fact, I don't want it on both sides. It's kind of an annoying penalty. And I don't want a game to last forever. So we're going to put that at zero. It's not going to matter. Um, we're going to put this at three. We're going to lower this down to three. See how that actually works. And give it a shot. Alright. <clears throat> Playing against the Edmonton Oilers in our fifth preseason game. And let's see how this is going to work out for us. We don't have to worry about going up against Connor McDavid because he is currently on our team this year, so that's going to be nice. Hi everyone, welcome to Anaheim, California, here in the OC, along with Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabowski for EA Sports. Interesting to hear from both coaches this morning in their media news conferences saying that likely they'll make moves tonight after this one. Well, they're trying to get down to a number where you can start to form your lines, start to build a little cohesion in your forward groups and your defense pairings. And with too many players, it's almost impossible. Yeah, you can just feel Game the five of the preseason. And we are seconds away now at center ice, looks like Malkin is going to start it out. And LA, uh, Anaheim wins the faceoff. I've been so used to saying LA. We're no longer on LA. We're Anaheim. We're the quack attack. Knocked away. Tricycle's got it along the boards. Quick pass to Yamamoto. From point blank. Couldn't light the lamp on that. What a chance. Sometimes the puck just doesn't go where you want to finish it. He makes a good shot, but he Pass can't across. Misses oh, a good open a opportunity. Inches, Not a bad shot. He just misses wide of the cage. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Anaheim's got control of the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. They've got wide open ice. opportunity, boys. Moves the puck. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Puck moved over to Barry. The Oilers move it in. Here's a shot. Too many bodies in the way. Here's a short pass to Latang. Anaheim's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves Fetchkin wide open. 
good break up. Oh, that was a really good opportunity. Goaltender, we got the puck. La -di 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 -la -di -da. Oh, you think you got it? Not, not, no, not today. The Ducks move it ahead. Moves it to Nyfist. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Give me. Oh, why is that? Defensive zone. Anaheim's got it against the boards. Go, go. To the paint. Poked away. Sends a pass over. Tries to get the puck to Barry. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. The Oilers take it along the wall. The Ducks have it from their own end. And we've got a two-on-one. Quick pass over to Jones. Edmonton's got the puck against the half wall. Here he is in front. Gets a stick on it to make the save. Anaheim's playing it through the neutral zone. So far, this is kind of looking the way I want it to be. It across and Ooh. makes the save. I do want to see hockey fights. I just don't know if that's even possible with the AI in this game. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Larson's taking it from his own end. Anaheim's got the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Svechnikov. Move to the middle. Oh, the easy goal by Jonathan Tades. Too easy. The Ducks deliver perfectly late. One in nothing first. Anaheim. Wait, and wait, and wait for your chance. That's one way to play. They're able to do that. They get the opportunity and it's in the net. Scored by number Gains the zone through center. Quick pass to Tate. Uh oh. Oh. oh and oh never mind i thought we we're gonna have a cover up and go into a face off but clearly not we got one minute remains oh and just like that is a one nothing Anaheim game. I think we saw the puck at least two, three times. It's actually a pretty good game so far. I think we have the settings set up the way this game should be. And while both teams get a refresher, we'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. So let's take a look at the ratio, two to seven. Defense kind of needs to be tweaked down a little bit, but we're almost getting it to where we need to be. I believe the offense is set up. I think defense, we got to go a little bit lower. Period number two is about to go. Here we go. Man, Edmonton wins the faceoff to start out second period here. The Ducks must love the way that this game is played out. They're controlling the majority of the shots, and they've got the one. We are seeing checks. We are seeing great opportunity. His reflexes on display tonight. They gain the offensive zone from the middle, and skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Moved out in front, and they can't connect. Covered up, going to a base off. As a great older colleague of mine says. This is waffle boarded away. The Ducks continue to lead here in this second period, looking strong offensively. Dreisaitl's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Yamamoto's picking here up comes speed. Edmonton, trying to get an opportunity. They're down by one goal, but it doesn't away. last long because Anaheim's defense is pretty good. good. Hit, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Barry's moving the puck through his own zone. And it's a quick pass to Cahoon. They go on the attack from the left side. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Oh, Obi's wide open. Oh, and he gets it. Boy, he didn't take much time at all. He was so tight to the net, and he makes a nice move to finish it off. That was filthy. Much goes into this breakaway, and it's happening fast. Are you going to deke? Are you going to?
going to shoot. You're reading the goalie's position. He goes to the quick shot, and it's a goal. The Ducks are Just like that is 2 nothing Anaheim. More goals quack attack, baby. Quack attack. Sets up from Gretzky's office. Here's a short pass to McKinnon. Turns it away. Another goal opportunity just missed it. Kane's point streak has been a thing to behold. You start to get superstitious on a run. You do everything the same. You wear the same suit all the time. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Oh, rebound opportunity. Is that Nathan McKinnon? It is. You can start to see this game's going to run away if that goal scoring doesn't slow down here. Good setup, good play opportunity. Good position, and then he zips a backhander past the tender. It is now a three nothing Anaheim lead. James, it's been this way most of the night. They've had the puck most of the time. Now they're up a three spot. Edmonton down. They gotta get aggressive here. Anaheim's gained possession. But Chris Letang with the poke check. And now it's to Nyquist. Nyquist all by himself. Good shot, good save. Smothered that in close chance. The Ducks have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. The Oilers win the draw. Takes the pass. Nice zone entry from the middle. Puts it on net. Oh, denies him with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Ryan's had a good seat for most of this offensive explosion. They're winning by a Oh, this is unfair. This ain't fair. This second of the night. Oh, things go well for you if you score multiple times in a game. This has been a terrific night for him. Excellent puck movement on the odd man rush. They catch them short and they make them pay. Anaheim's offense is rolling and there's still a lot of time left. I don't Four think nothing Anaheim. Score, so you're up by a lot. Good. Score a few more goals. Carry this thing in. The Ducks have it from the corner. Musa quickly over to Ovechkin. Puck grabbed by Kane and misses over the net. Almost five minutes remain in the period. We're up by four. Way too much congestion blocks that. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Edmonton trying to get something going on here, but they've the been attack. shut out by Chris Letang. Snaps one from the oh, side. should have been able to make a save, but did not get it. That's unfortunate. Oh, this shot beats him. Should have been here, saved. He doesn't see got through it. I the think blocker. He's work a little harder. There's only one person in front of the net. He shouldn't be screened so completely. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Moves it to Kane. Here's a chance. He scores. Now there's a response. That's exactly how you would draw it up. You give up a goal. What can we do to get it back? That's as perfect as he can. Impressive. Well, he was brought into the game here to provide some relief in goal. No relief provided there. He gets beat. Late goings of this period. Anaheim's now up by four. Puck scooped up by Barry. And they'll dump it in. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. Pass stolen in the open ice. Let's the wrister go. Just misses. You kick yourself in the tail while you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. The Ducks played along the boards. Hey. Oh, that's too easy. Too well, easy. We're not going to take a look at that. We're just going to keep going. For them. Anaheim's been in simple attack mode all night long. Would you not agree? Yes. I have lowered the offense a whole lot. I think it just needs to lower the defense, to be honest. Well, whatever you got to do, I guess, man, those guys are lucky the masks are as good as they are now. And just like that, we're going to the third period. Six to one. 
And the period has come to an end. It has been a very one-sided affair tonight. Kind of getting better. We need to see more shots in this game, so I do need to make the defense a little bit weaker on our team. The officials made his way to so center. We'll see how it works in the next game. I think offense is where it needs to be. Well, this has been an absolute blowout through the first two periods. We get underway here in the third. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? Edmonton's been a step slow almost all game. They haven't had the puck very much. They're losing. If that's going to change, they've got to get the puck and hold on to it much more. Works it across to Yamamoto. The Oilers are in transition. Edmonton's in now. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Quick feed to Del Sato. Up along the wing. They've got no This is not what you want to see. Here's a chance. Oh, he misses the opportunity. This is why you have to be prepared for your chance. You don't know when it's going to come. Alex Alexander Ovechkin is a beast. I think they changed goaltenders, to be honest. I don't know. I loved making that save in road hockey, the old blocker stop. The Ducks continue to lead big here in this third period. I think they switched goaltenders. I don't know. I feel like they did. The Oilers take possession off the faceoff. Feeds the puck to Barry. Sends the pass over. The Oilers take it across the line. Quick pass to Yamamoto. Ooh. He could have had a goal, because I don't think feed. I would have been able to make that save in time. The zone the Especially the angle. I don't think I was there. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play. There. Almost he's to the halfway right point. Right now, Up by a big lead here. Here's an opportunity. Stopped by the goaltender. Taken along the wall by Del Sato. Anaheim's got it across the line. Hangs on to the puck. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Tries to get it to Yamamoto. Just less than 10 minutes nice in the period here. The right and we got the win. And I know we got the win unless the we really blow it in just Edmonton's the last few the minutes. Puck against the boards. Right in front. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. The Ducks played along the boards. And now he moves it quickly to Nightfist. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Oh, you can't do but that. You, oh, oh <laughs> almost had the opportunity. I thought for sure that was going to be a goal. He way into good shape. He's just not able to beat the goalie. Anaheim's got it along the wall. McKinnon's oh, that's an open. That that's open. Oh. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. Anaheim's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Almost at the five-minute mark in the game. Wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Goal. The he scores! On the rebound, lights the lamp for the goal. The Ducks continue to rack up the goals here in this third period. They can do no wrong. It doesn't seem to matter who's on the ice. They're the better team. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And now it's over to Kucherov. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Oh, what a hit. Oh. Shnesikov with a big hit. The Ducks pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Great poke check on the reach. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> oh, boy. It just, when it rains, it pours. tonight and they showed no signs slowing down in the third this has been almost a perfect hockey game for them when they look at the video they're going to be really happy and now it's grabbed by jones 37 andre moves into the slot oh he's going to be shaking his head after that one yeah you go back to the bench here kicking yourself in the rear end you've got a scoring chance and you don't even get it minute and a half to go we got about one more preseason game after this stopped by the goaltender Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Kucherov. Good shot. And the traffic jam. Our block. 50 seconds. Barry's got it in the defensive end. It has been a crazy Across game so far. Puck picked up by Svechnikov. Moves it to Latang. 
30 seconds shortly. We're coming up to this 30 second mark. This game is beyond over. We have the win. Here they come up along the wing. Anaheim's ready to go on the attack. Oh, you can't leave Ovi all by himself. That's a goal. That is a goal. He left him wide open. All alone for the breakaway. Anaheim's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time. Up big time late in this third. Latang's lugging the puck. Cuts to the front with the Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! I almost thought that bounced in. And it looks like we get another win with our goaltender. Wasn't even close. Hey, but we we did get about a 90%. I think I think we got a 90%. We'll find out. Yeah, we got a 90% on save. Hey, that's a big improvement for us. Got a little bit more shot opportunity. You know what has really impressed me so far in camp? So our save percentage did go up into 80. That goalies take so long to develop. And this kid looks like he's ready to go right now. I, think I know we're not going to be a starter, but I would love I if we were. Game, and I think you'd like to see him finish up strong. But based on what I've seen of making so far, him a little bit. on this team. I love uh, what I've seen from this kid. He looks ready. He looks ready for prime time. What say you? Let's go so to the you what? Line number Vision. Five. This one looks like to be the big important one, I think. Just like that, we're up in 80. Uh, we're just gonna unlock them before we actually start getting too little far in depth. What we got here from the coach. Kind of increasing it. We got to win another game here. Going to put in some of our brand egoness, and that's what we're going to do. And even before we decide to start up the next game, we got to adjust the sliders one more time. I think they're almost where they need to be. Got to reduce our sliders. So I, th I like the hit power, to be honest. That looked pretty good. But it's the poke check that I kind of want to change. Alright. That should be good enough. I think our offense is going to be good as it is. I don't want to get too low to the point where it's kind of like a pond hockey game. So our next game is against the Vancouver Canucks to finish out. Uh, no, we got two more games. So this will be game six of the preseason. Going to wear the iconic white home jerseys. Vancouver's gonna rock out. Actually, Vancouver's gonna rock out their retro reverse jerseys. So yeah, we're gonna jump into it. We're almost done with the preseason here. and welcome to Anaheim here in Southern California. Exhibition season starting to come down to the home stretch here and both rosters, they need to make some moves here soon. This is when the cuts get really tough. There's generally not a lot separating the guys that are on the bubble. I mean, your vets are already selected. Got to try to get a better save, save percentage. We got to, to set up try to roster. improve it. We also have kind of increased the difficulty for the AI. Face off is just seconds away. 
All right, who's gonna get the pace off here? Anaheim or Vancouver? And Vancouver gets it to start out the first period here. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. The Ducks have it against the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Here's the Good pass. opportunity. That's a goal. Steven Too Steven. easy. Nice. Is already now a one nothing game. Not even three minutes into the period. You don't get many of these good setup. Good pass behind, so and that's an easy you goal. Take advantage. Really nice play. The Ducks take a one nothing lead here early in this first period. What a way to crank up the crowd. You and the Ducks continue on, the on to get the lead with you with the space off. The pass. Patrick Kane looking. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Is that his first goal? I think that's the first goal of the season. It is. Two nothing. The last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. The Ducks get a hold of the puck off the draw. Scored. Moved in front. He scores. Wow. We're not. We're not going to do any more replays. This is going to be an ugly game. This is what I'm already seeing. I have already changed up the defense. So the sliders here. It's probably because we're not playing against the first line, to be honest. Or Vancouver's just that bad in this preseason game. You make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Anaheim's had the shot advantages and they also had the lead. Five shots on net already with three goals. This is ugly. The Canucks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Nice pass. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, that should be easy goal. Could have been an easy goal right there. Puck grab by Kane. Takes the feed. Big save. Good shot. Good save. Ooh. Coming up. I think it's tripping. Yep. The Canucks are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Once he puts we up no longer goal, have the delay the of game rule in because that's just torture. Always. You never think it's the right call. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Wax it into the offensive zone. Our goalie is too slow to the even get the puck. The ah. Against the wall. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. Oh, Most this is too easy. Right in front. And he denied that opportunity. Tremendous read as he pokes it away with the paddle. We've got a penalty coming up on the play. Slash him. You call that a hat. Our boy Pasternak with the slash. The right My there. goodness. <laughs> Very good reference. Beagles won the draw. Centering pass. Misses over the net. Not going to get many better chances from that. Dead center right in the slot. They go on the attack through Wide center. open opportunity. A That's a oh, you had the opportunity to get a goal. Excellent stop by the goaltender. He read that perfectly. Good shot, good Another save. Stop by the goaltender. Quick work. He makes one and two saves in a row. Anaheim's offense has been on fire to start this one, and still lots of time left in the first. Stamkos wins it in the offensive zone. Sacrifices the body. Nothing doing on that. Centering pass. Stop Another save. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. Slides it back to the blue line. Snaps one here in the Oh! oh. Stankos did him a dirty. It's turning into a laugh for four straight goals for them as they take total control of this game. Now coaches talk about getting to the front of the net. Maybe I think they pulled him. The goalie, take his eyes away. Man, he I think they pulled the, the goaltender. In front of him. He can't even see the puck. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Here they are on the attack. And there's the save. The Ducks have it now. Through the neutral zone. 
neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Yeah, they pulled the goaltender. That's the first time seeing the goalie get pulled. He's got two goals already. Braden Hope is in that. Oh, boy. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Ducks have a four-goal lead. It ain't pretty at all. Quick feed to Tatar. Takes a shot. Oh, and the goalie beat but puts it wide. By not very much. This is a guy that knows how to score. He just misses the net by a narrow margin here. Takes the pass from the left wing. Anaheim's got the puck. And now it's grabbed by Tatar. Gets the puck back here. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, what a Good poke check. I thought this was a pretty good move, but the poke check came out quickly and swept the puck away. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Here's a chance on the backhand. Save made by the goalie. Two, two shots in a row in and two saves. Keeps hold of the puck. Let's the wrister fly. Denies him in front. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. And they managed to And just like that, we the got the penalty kill. Crease to play the puck. The Canucks get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. I can't imagine the coaches are going to be very happy with that. This is a really good piece of video to show the players, though, because you show them great. You had it in the zone, but there was no danger generated on that power play. Anaheim's taken full advantage of their scoring opportunities with a comfortable lead here in the first. Vancouver's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Let's it go from the slot, and that's blocked. Through center. Osternox got the puck here, and he loses it. Quick pass to Kucherov. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. And the Chris Letang trying to delay center. them. Handles it along the blue line. Oh, so close, but not close enough. Now he's trying to get it up into the top of the net. Here comes he Nathan McKinnon. Here's a short pass to Latang. Turns it away. Anaheim's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Kucherov. He was locked in there. The Canucks get a hold of the puck. Looking for space inside the And just zone. like that, we got about less Myers than four minutes to go. In. To his teammate. Oh, he went top corner and missed it. Oh, it's not going to be perfect every time. He's going for that top part of the net. He just missed it. Across the line from center. Great hand-eye coordination as he gets the puck. Oh, back. that's too easy. Too easy. Schneshtikov with the goal. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your Too easy. in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Anaheim's taken it. Five nothing lead. Offensively uh, so I believe we're on our fourth first, line or third. I'm not mortal. entirely sure. By number 37. The Canucks looking against the half wall. Comes up with the stop. The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Now he takes it over the line. They've got One the minute left in the first period is still a Anaheim lead. It is ugly. Boy, it's looking like the way we're going to have the sliders so far. Here in this first period, more shots and more goals. Just a better all-around execution. Taves has won the faceoff. Here's a shot. No room for that one to get through. And that's stopped by Ryan. Well, a very one The first period has been a shooting clinic. Uh, we've only saw like probably five. Yep, five shots. Ooh, that is, that is really ugly. Vancouver has like no defense is what I'm seeing so far. So I'm not going to adjust the sliders until we start playing our first regular season game. I well, think we have underway, have them as best as we're going to get it. To this point. The Canucks haven't done really anything that they can be satisfied with. They trail in the game. They haven't had many shots on net. They're not even really in the play. And he the couldn't have said it any better. Oh, that's too easy. That could have been a goal. Should have been a goal. Cuts into the paint. And that's 
shot dies in traffic. Anaheim's moving it along the wing. Moves it to Stamkos. Sends it over. Oh, that's too Stopped easy. by the goaltender. Handles the puck. Kind of hoping the spirit Takes goes by goal. pretty fast here. Takes a wrist shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Denies him again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's on it there. Oh, that leg pad. Moves the puck. Oh my goodness. Get that puck out of here. Over the goalie's shoulder. Sometimes you airmail it. Here's an odd man rush. Stopped by the goaltender. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Angles it over to Furland. Gains the zone from the right. Cutting to the front of the net. Good save. Covering that up. Don't mind if I do. The Ducks lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. Vancouver's got it, and they're on the attack. Off a stick. Quick feed to Tatar. Nice zone entry on the left side. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Vancouver's in transition. Come on, let's Beagle's get the quack attack going, baby. Line. Right to the middle, a chance from the Get side. out of here. Stop on the play. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter. There's nowhere for the puck to go. Looks to make a play over to McDavid. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. They've got the defense outnumbered. Just like that, oh, easy. Nyquist with the goal. Anaheim center makes his way back to center ice here for the faceoff. What a performance by these guys tonight. They've been terrific, dominated the game at both ends of the ice. The pace of the game is what they want, and they're comfortably in front. And that's blocked. The Ducks gain possession along the wall. Quick pass to Tatar. Great defensive effort with the stick. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. Beagle's carrying it ahead. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, and he'll be shaking his head on that as they were so close. Wasn't even Along close. That was not zone. even a near a near opportunity. Letang. Chris Latang, go for it, bud. Ah. Oh, he's got it. Oh, Our first goal by a defenseman. The Ducks are almost making their opponents beg for the end of this second period, Ray. I'll tell you what those two locker rooms are going to be like, James. I've been in both of them. The one that's way ahead. It is a giggle fest. Everyone's having a good time. The other one. A giggles fest. My goodness. From anywhere in that room. I'll take the giggles. By Along the right side into the offensive zone. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here comes Pasternak. Puts it on net. Good shot. Good save. Hopey's played poor. Less than 30 the seconds left in the third. I mean, you second period here. This one, James, and package it up. That's a bad night. Denies him. Ryan's able to keep the score the same. He turns away a slot shot. The Ducks Almost a goal. Control here in the second. They have absolutely Almost, dominated. but it wasn't. We have 12 saves so far. Looking pretty good, even though we put on a shooting clinic. Yeah, it's kind of how it usually looks like when one side is really good. Players are set. Officials are set. Third period action is coming up. Third period underway here. This has been a total score. Here comes Vancouver. They're down big time. Between the benches at ice level, Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? The Ducks have been terrific for 40 minutes now. A comfortable lead that they'll just try to ease their way into the finish line. Here's oh, that's an open opportunity. Shot. That's a goal. If it's not Alexander Vetchkin, it's Patrick Kane you got to be look out for. Or Nathan McKinnon. Or, you know what? You just got to watch out for all the ducks. Because it's quack attack, baby. Quack attack. We don't have the flying V. A chance, and that's broken up. The Canucks in transition at center. Moves it quickly over to Kane. 
time of the goal. The Ducks are on the attack. Slides it across. Oh, that should have been a goal. How do you miss a wide open opportunity? Right in the middle of the ice. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Moves it to Stamkos. Sends a pass over. Gains the zone through the middle. And now he angles it. Goal. Score! By your boy, Patrick Kane. Well, he's been on it tonight. Really good skating legs. He's finished off a couple of plays, too. The Ducks could almost put this one in neutral. It's been an incredibly long third period so far. In fact, incredibly long game. Puck scooped up by Myers. The Ducks have it from their own end. Slides it quickly to Latang. Stamkos picking up steam. Time of the goal. Sanko's looking for an opportunity. Vancouver's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Steps into the offensive end. Broken up. Halfway through the third period the here. Looks like they were trying to do a cross a crease setup, but that failed. From the right side, they gain the zone. Oh, that's open. Gives them nothing in front. Sometimes McDavid trying to look for a goal here. Anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Made that stop. Anaheim Tatarov's got it. Boards. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to Tatar. It doesn't even last that Takes long for pass. Vancouver. Takes a shot. And that one's broken up. It's right chaos right down in front of that Look net. Just so it. much guys in the way. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Nyquist looking like wide open opportunity, but not a good pass set up. Getting closer to that five minute mark. The scoring chance goes away. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Here's Nyquist looking. The Ducks grab possession to the puck. Puts it on Broken up. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Taken by Nyquist. Another shot, another save. Easy goal for McDavid for that rebound. Anaheim's all too aware. There's no mercy rule in hockey. They continue to apply the pressure. No, they're laying a beating on these guys now. Oh, it's not even a beating. It's beyond a beating. We're just putting more salt to the wound. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Oh, that's too easy, too easy. Pasternak would have had that. You would have had it. Oh, that's an enormous opportunity by Kucherov. One minute remains, and this game should be over by now. Nathan McKinnon, just stop it, boys. Stop it. <laughs> He's dead. They're dead already. I don't think Braden Hopi's in the game anymore. Extend the lead here in the third. No, he's the still in there. Chances they've scored at will, and now we're coasting home. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. With possession this game is ugly. Don't, oh my goodness. I was going to say, don't get another goal, please. Let's just end it. Moves the puck to Furland. Time of the goal. Vancouver's looking to break out. Eight seconds. Slides it across to Pasternak. Moves 30 seconds to, to go. Got 30 seconds and miss opportunity. Pass right in front, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. The Canucks moving ahead from the left side. They gain the zone. Moves it to Beagle. That goes off a twig. From the back of the cage with the puck, couldn't connect on that pass. 10 seconds. Are we going to get our shutout? We're going to get the shutout in a preseason game. Finally. Damn it, Patrick Kane. Stop scoring. Oh, it's not Patrick Kane. Kucherov, stop scoring. Just let it end. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The Ducks win it. Got the win. Got 13 shots out of 35. Holy crap. Lopsided game. Not even close at all.
looking really good, undefeated so far. Our puck playing isn't the greatest, but you know what? We're getting the wins. We're not in the starting lineup. Wow. Where are we? I don't know. Of course, we're gonna be back up, that's okay. That's fine. I don't care if we're back up. We're gonna eventually get to that starting line. Yeah, they set us up a little bit backwards a bit, but you know what, we're gonna get there. We don't have the greatest goal roster whatsoever, but you know what, we tried. We tried. We played our preseason games. Ooh, are we playing in the first game? Boys and girls, I think we found a loophole. Gonna try to focus on our superstar. See, the problem is, I don't think we're going to win the Calder Cup. Oh, uh, boy. You know what, we're going to go with this one. So, we're going to try. Can't guarantee it. That's Thankfully, it's not a promise. But we increase our brand going up quite a bit. So our first regular season game might be actually the first so game of the season. To see how things and it is. With his first game in the NHL. Any training? And, and nah, we can't responds, get any perks right, right now. You know so our first game of the season every single contact that he's got in his phone book. is going to be against the San Jose Sharks. However, we're going to resume on next time. So yeah, we, we got through the preseason with our dream team. We're going to see how far we can go. Our goal is to win. Uh, our, our main goal is to break the rookie records for a single season. Get to the franchise records for the rookie re season as well. And see how many wins we can win this season. So yeah, a lot to go. It was a great preseason i believe we got our settings adjusted so that way the games are going to look a little bit closer and feel like it if not we'll be tweaking it as we go but yeah i'm excited this is a really fun series uh it's a little cringy but it's fun entertaining and kind of humoring watching me just kind of comment on some of this i hope you all enjoyed it i'm not your average gaming joe and i will see you in the next video take care everyone